All right, what's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today we've got the big dog out. We got the new SCX6 Honcho, and we even got these little plates here from Rock Pirates RC. Rock Pirates RC, you will find their stickers all over my truck. I am a team driver for them, and they've been a great company to work with. They've also supported every event I've ever done. They're an awesome group of people. I really like what they've got going on. Just stopped by Sky RC in St. George and I decided, you know what, let's go up to Pioneer Park, which is an awesome recreational area for people here in St. George. And it's got tons of awesome terrain to take RC trucks out on. So we're gonna go run through some canyons, have some fun. I think I see some pretty wicked stuff up in here, but I think with these seven and a half inch tall Proline tires and the 2.9 inch custom wheels here from Spec RC, I don't think it's gonna be a problem for what we've got today. All right, here we are heading up into the first canyon. I've never driven this truck through here before, so we're gonna go find some lines, see what it'll stick to, and uh, see what we can force it through. It should be a fun time. I did remove the spare tire out the back of the SCX6 here. I just figured weight up high in the rear wasn't necessarily gonna help our cause. And uh, with the Proline Super Swampers, I don't intend on having a flat tire. So obviously, Spare tires are great for scale looks and whatnot, but today I'm looking to push this truck pretty hard and uh, wouldn't mind the added performance of not carrying it. Already just sticking to these rocks like glue and pulling off a wild line right there. I'm not sure where we're gonna end up here. I think we're gonna have to go straight and then cut right. Well, looks like we're hitting bumper into the wall. Also got the rear differential on a pretty big rock there. I love the brushless censored motor in these from Spectrum. Great big motors, lots of power, smooth controlled crawling. Suspension's unloading a little bit on us here. Let's give it a little bump. I think that'll help it settle. Okay, well we got the rear up on the ledge and I need it to rotate to the right. With the big left, with the big ledge on the left side there. It's gonna be hard to get it to rotate. Okay, here we are, as if we made it up that. Let's see where this trail wants us to go from here. I think we'll just stay kind of straight on the line we're on. See if we can get some tire on the rocks ahead of us. Looks a little more like bumper than tires. Getting pretty dang sideways here, actually. Let's upright it. There we go. And now we're bellied out. We're gonna use this rock on the right to get the belly, gain some height. And we're gonna let it rotate over. Just getting bellied out here. Tires are fighting for it. They're trying. This is an ugly, ugly trail. Lots of fun. Lots of fun in the SCX6. And our rear cage is actually pinching us in, getting us in trouble. We kind of got ourselves stuck, so yet again. Ugly trail here, lots of fun, pushing the limits. I've made it five feet, <laughs> and I haven't even made it there. I'm, uh, I've had to assist it twice now. Just gonna smash into that rock. Yeah, pull itself up. Letting those tires claw for traction. Uh oh, left rear is getting in a hole. Just 
Stick with it, stick with it. There she goes. Working her way down the trail. That was an ugly obstacle. It was a big truck for a small section of trail. Lots of big rocks, this is fun. So, I see a lot of people mentioning to Axial that they should make a 1.6 Capra. I am fully on board with that. You guys know that I love the Capra here. I would love to see big portal axles, maybe even taller tires to go with the buggy. You know what I mean? Get some uh, Proline crawlers in G8, maybe? Proline, <clears throat> please. I'd love to see the crawler out on these trucks. I do like the Super Swamper. They definitely do work. They're doing great. But I just love the aesthetics of the crawler and the performance. They work great out here on the Red Rock Sandstone, especially with the full-size vehicles. And with one of these, we're getting pretty close to full-size performance. Oh yeah, look at that articulation. All right guys, this could be a bad idea. We're gonna see if we can get up this big rock fin here. It gets steep towards the top and there is a little ramp at the bottom. So we're gonna get some tires on it and see what will stick. I was planning on taking a reverse here, but it looks like it's gonna pull right around. Nice. Getting double ledge, double faced up here. Right rear's in too big of a pocket. A little bump. Okay, it's gonna start getting steep up here. You know what, I think I see a line. I think we might be all right. Just gonna have to hang left, which is near a big cliff drop. weight of this truck it really likes momentum on ledges Ooh. let's try that one more time the front up and then bump so sketchy I love the way the weight transfers on this truck it looks so much like a real rig well, I can't move because I need to be right here in case it tips because I don't want it to fall in this canyon. These trucks are so big and heavy, they will damage themselves. Now here's something I've never tried before, is a big steep descent with this truck. I mean, these things are so large that this drop looks massive, but will it soak it up? There's a good chance it's gonna do a front flip on the way down here, which I don't really want it to do, but you gotta find out what it'll, what it'll take. Ouch. Well, I kinda called it, didn't I? All right, back to some technical rock hopping and boulder climbing. That bumper's just gonna scrape. Hopefully let us up. There she goes. Can I get that? driver front to come up almost almost did it there it is it should come up that and it's gonna drag the rears up the rears kind of in a bad spot There we go. That's setting us up better. Look at that undercut. It's an eight inch ledge. To be bigger than these tires, that's a big ledge. Oh, that should be it. Come on, truck. It's pretty quickly digging a deep hole. All right, all right. This truck really seems to like the bump. Seems like most stuff that's really difficult, you gotta give it some momentum. Which with a truck this weight, that bump does a lot because it weighs 25 pounds. To try and stop it is hard to do, so it really carries momentum well. But it's making it up these difficult obstacles, so if I gotta bump it, I'll take it. Try and crawl this. Getting 
hung up on the links. Very nice, very nice. Good work, Concho. Here we go. Should be a fun little combo here. Big wall. Looks like our wheelbase should work out. There we go. Got the fronts hooked over the top. Gotta get the rears up. Just able to get a little bit of angle. Start pulling those rears around. Just keeping the links off the ground there. Now we're going into a drop. And this obstacle almost like repeats itself in reverse. So as we're going down a drop here, we're gonna go up a climb and then descend down the far side. We'll try and get hooked up on the top right tire. Should help pull this truck right up and over. Beautiful. Take a little reverse. I'm gonna go off a good size drop here. Get a bite out of these sliders, maybe. Dip one tire down. I don't want it to unload and roll on me. A little throttle out, but she did good. I've seen a few of my buddies actually create tubular rock sliders for these made out of steel, which I think is really cool. That'd be an awesome change on these trucks. Really cool part. Hopefully somebody makes those and just kind of makes them available. That'd be rad. Yeah. Getting steep, all trying to turn. Front end's gonna get into a pinch. So you could actually straighten and it'll help that front right climb. That left front doesn't quite have the turning angle to get it to turn, come around. So let's drive a little more off to the right, try and pivot the truck up. Oh. That's how it works in the tent scale, but obviously this is a much different line when it's this big. Oh, getting ourselves in trouble. Come on, honcho. Maybe turn into the, yeah. It's further up the line. Kind of fell back in. Let's try and come up this a little earlier. Come on, come on. Our bumper hits the wall and just kills all forward progress. Let's try a different approach to this. Oh, I just pushed it in there and trusted it. Come on, come on. Perfect formation. Wrapped right around. Glad we kept after that one. That was a cool climb. And it made it look easy once I hit the right line.
All right, guys, this is a known hard line for the locals. You got to get up this little nub here and then up on top of the arch. I don't know of anybody who's crawled it with their tent scale stuff. You have to bump the hell out of it to get it up there. But with its sheer size, can it reach to where it can get a good hold up top to pull itself up? Oh, that was close. SCX6 needed a bump. No surprise. But here it is. On top of the arch. Pretty cool. Moving on from lines that are impossible to lines that just look cool. This park has so many awesome rock features, so many good lines. You can spend days out here in that one. It's easily accessible by car, which makes it really popular for a lot of people. Now that is kind of the downside is that it's just crazy popular and very busy a lot of the time, which is the main reason why I don't shoot videos out here is I don't really like doing it in front of people. I don't mind going crawling with the group, but I don't usually make videos when I go with the group. that left rear right up there very nice SCX6 looking good out here well friends I think we're gonna run one last line along a cliff edge I'm gonna let you guys go greatly appreciate you watching as always you can find affiliate links down in the description if you purchase anything through there it helps support the channel and uh, if you're interested in picking up an SCX6 I highly recommend them they are 100% their own driving experience. They're entirely different than one tenth stuff. And if you've never driven one, at least just find somebody or somewhere that has one available to drive. I'm sure you'll have a good time. Their weight and heft really make give them their own personality out here on the rocks. And they crawl great. Sometimes it's just about finding the right line and not hammering down. This is where things get real tricky because it's going to want to tip us off to the right, but you need to climb a steep ledge on the right. Work my rear tires out to the edge. All right, here we go. Time to see what she's got. Front left's gonna fall in a hole. Rotate it a little more so the front left doesn't drive directly into a hole. Okay, front's up. I think we got it. It's not over, but it's looking good. Don't want the left rear to fall in that same hole. I think it's got the articulation. It's got the weight up top. It wants it. It's pulling. And it's gone. Sweet. That was a gnarly line. Okay, guys. My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. We'll see you in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.